Hello Gemini and welcome to your 1212 New Moon Portal messages. I'm going to start with explaining information about the 1212 portal along with the astrology attached to it. This portion will be the same for each and every sign. So if you watch multiple videos, you cross watch or you're just not interested in the portal information and astrology, there is this timestamp listed below where the reading begins. The 1212 Sagittarius New Moon Portal is heralding a time of deep spiritual introspection, which is going to allow for spiritual closure on some really old wounds, old spiritual lessons, unfinished business. It is a time of spiritual closure which is opening us up to new spiritual beginnings and the time frame of this portal energy being its most potent is from December 12th through January 1st and there's some astrology that is in conjunction with the Sagittarius New Moon 1212 portal. First of all, you know the 1212 is the end of the year. It's the completion, it's closing of doors with the Sagittarius New Moon incorporated with that portal. Sagittarius is the energy of higher spirituality, higher learning, higher wisdom. It occupies the ninth house and so you're being pulled into your soul to really clear the way for new energy that that new moon brings to you as well as this portal you step through the portal to really leave things behind and this sagittarius new moon energy only elevates that boosts that and also the very next day on december 13th Mercury goes retrograde in Capricorn and this is where some of your accomplishments manifestations have been on hold or haven't been able to come in and as this retrograde happens it's for you to clear all that old energy that holds you back so Mercury goes retrograde on December 13th in Capricorn but then on December 23rd Mercury retrogrades right back into Sagittarius. So there's that Sagittarius energy again, and it's about finishing those old lessons, old business, so you can receive the healing and complete the cycle. And Mercury goes direct on January 1st, 2024, in the sign of Sagittarius. And that's when this portal energy also completes. Now, while this is going on, Venus is in Scorpio and Venus being in Scorpio turns us inward, turns us to face our shadow, our unresolved shadow energies within, also getting very real with ourselves about how we feel about stuff so that we can finally move through any stuck emotions. On the 29th of December, Venus moves into Sagittarius. And that brings about that spiritual healing, that emotional healing. Mars is in Sagittarius the whole time. And Mars is a driving force. It's motivation. It's empowerment. Also being in that sign of Sagittarius. So as you can see, it's going to be a deeply spiritual time. A time of of introspection and that mercury retrograde energy is going to pull us back to the past retrogrades always resurface unfinished business as mercury starts out retrograde in capricorn and has um you know 2023 has been an earth sign mercury retrograde cycle starting with taurus um going into Virgo and now as we end the year going in retrograde in Capricorn and then moving back into Sagittarius anything that's been holding you back from your manifestations from you materializing that's what you're going to be pushed towards to clear that energy out and this portal is potent and powerful it pulls you in to a new version of yourself but this old energy must be cleared first 
and that's what the retrograde is for that's what Venus and Scorpio and then going into Sag is for that is what Mars being in Sag is for for that deep spiritual cleansing so that you uh, your energy is open and brand new and ready to receive a new version of yourself a lot of soul cycles are completing for people during this time so you may find that from December 12th through January 1st there's a lot of reminiscing there's a lot of revisiting the past and you may find that that's already been happening for you a week or a couple weeks leading up to this portal you've really been thinking about things of the past something's long ago and you can be like why am I thinking about this why is this coming up because it's time to clear that energy it has taught you all that it was meant to and it's time for new experiences and new lessons to come into play so if you find that you're reminiscing um, you wake up sad some mornings because of just certain things in the past allow yourself to move through those emotions because that is a very beautiful sign that you are clearing this energy that you are responding beautifully and naturally to the astrology energy that's being offered to all of us at this time and on top of this you know the sun is in Sagittarius will be moving into Capricorn um, before the first of January obviously but this portal happens while the Sun is also in Sagittarius there is so much Sagittarius energy the wounded healer the protector the teacher the mentor okay the wise one you're coming into your wisdom your pain your experience is transforming into strength and wisdom and this is meant to carry you into your new soul cycle this is such a perfect portal and alignment of energies to really leave a lot of things in 2023 so that you can have a 2024 with a fresh all new version of yourself a new outlook new perspectives new dreams new goals new motivation new energy within okay so this is a very powerful time oh and also we have the winter solstice on the 21st of december which marks the um, shortest day and longest night of the year which after that date the days start growing longer once again and that's very synchronistic so from December 12th through January 1st this 12 12 portal energy is there it is potent it is open and it's in conjunction with the Sagittarius new moon which means you are being prepared for a new beginning so that is the information about the portal also I do need to mention um, just depending on how spiritual you are there can be some deep and profound spiritual activations and awakenings that take place during this time some of you may be awakening to a spiritual gift that you never knew that you had others of you your current spiritual gift really expanding intuition being on point try not to make any big decisions between December 12th and January 1st because remember the energy is shifting and transforming as are you and what you want right now as you're listening to this message may be vastly different come January 1st January 2nd so just keep that in perspective this is a time of introspection a time of healing a time of release a time for all of your efforts all of your steps on your journey to transform into beautiful wisdom strength and healing for you so that is the messages around this portal and the astrology let's get in to your reading Gemini let's see what this 1212 new moon portal 
is doing specifically for you guys. this we've got the spirit medium coming through first card out star being second card out and discernment third card out okay wow Gemini um you are having a huge activation to your crown chakra to your third eye chakra okay um this, I feel, is a lot more spiritually based for you guys, and you are the opposite of Sagittarius, your third house. Sagittarius is ninth house, and it's, so it's, um, you know, opposite ends of the spectrum, but you both represent that spiritual energy, and since we have all this activity happening in the sign of Sagittarius, that's really opening you up spiritually. And with that discernment, that eye there, you are about to see things in a whole new way about yourself, your spiritual journey, what this life is all about, the life beyond this planet. We got star beings coming through. Those of you who are very spiritually gifted, walking a spiritually based path, there's new energies coming in around you and you're opening up, you're receiving so much more information, a lot of downloads. And you know, some Geminis, you could be awakening to a spiritual gift that's been with you this whole time, but you just weren't um, tapped into it. For every single Gemini, this portal is activating some aspect of you spiritually. And through that, you're able to see things differently, understand differently, discern energies better. And there's there's spirits around you guys. Whether these are passed on loved ones, ancestors, you know, there's this energy from other collective coming in for you guys. You are very divinely guided at this time and this portal it's opening you up spiritually it's activating you spiritually it's expanding spiritual gifts that you already have you're coming more aligned with your intuition understanding yourself as a divine being Very spiritual for Gemini. And you know, we're, for those of you where there's these past loved ones around you, you're seeing signs of that in different ways. Glitching, lights, electronics, picking up different aromas or scents, um, feeling a breeze. Even some of you like a warm breeze. It doesn't have to be a, a cool breeze, but like there's some warmth. Finding coins, finding feathers. Rainbows and butterflies are strong symbols of past loved ones as well. Notice those signs, Gemini. You have a past loved one that's really wanting you to know that they are there. They are with you at this time. Okay, Eight of Swords. I release myself from self-inflicted binds. Ooh, see, this with this spiritual activation, awakening, it's allowing you to see things differently where you feel restricted or you didn't see any option now you do eight of wands i manifest multiple opportunities look at that as soon as i say that so eight eight energy you've put out is now coming back to you nice six of wands i am proud of what i achieve and accept my rewards Ooh, gemini yes Past hard work is going to pay off. Where you felt restricted and stuck, no more. You're moving past that. And wands, 
is the energy of fire, of the spirit, of movement, of action. And so that just further confirms this spiritual activation awakening that each and one of you are having. And through that, you're breaking free from a barrier. And I've gotten that message for multiple signs of like this portal is allowing for a big breakthrough, a big shift in consciousness. And that's coming through for you guys as well. But this is more on a spiritual level. And it's time for you to know yourself in that way, a remembrance of something. And that is meant to come online now to fill your consciousness now for the next steps on your journey. But also in more of a general sense, there is going to be some movement in your life where you have felt very stuck, okay? That's what I'm getting the most is you're getting unstuck along with this profound spiritual awakening. It's deep. And you have better discernment for what is right for Gemini. You're finding yourself. Some of you have felt very lost on your path. You're remembering who you are. Judgments. So you've completed some soul lessons and that's another reason why you're breaking free of this restriction with this portal. Look at that, the tower. You are going to be surprised at how quickly things are changing here. Nine of Pentacles, that's where you land with the Six of Wands. That's success. That's victory. That's standing out. That's being in the spotlight. That's having things work out perfectly for you, going your way. You've completed a journey. So this portal is closing that cycle of your life that you are completing and any restriction attached to that cycle is now going to be lifted and you're able to move freely forward. And the way it all goes up down, it's going to really surprise you. But I also have to point out where this says star beings and the tower. There, some of you have maybe come across some things about star seeds. Um, you may have questioned and this part of the message it won't resonate for all Gemini's. Okay. But for the ones that it does, I have to get it out there just because of what I see here. You may feel that you're very different than most people. All right. You're more sensitive. You're empathic. You care. You don't understand the negativity, the corruption, the darkness of things. And you feel that you are here for a greater purpose then then you can quite grasp or put your finger on you feel like you stand out that you've been different all your life you have a different connection to animals or mother earth or the spirits some of you that connect with that part of this message you're about to have a big awakening to your starseed collective who is working with you spiritually this life journey or uh, where your consciousness truly stems from. You're very in tune with energy. All right, so that's just a message that had to come through for some very specific Geminis. I hope that helped for those of you that that applies. But for the rest of you, things are going to shift and change quite unexpectedly. But you have a lot of energies, spirits, working behind the scenes for you all right and you have passed your spiritual lessons you're evolving and expanding beyond them and now you're moving into six of wands nine of pentacles that is really good energy right there okay that's feeling abundant that's feeling independent that's feeling strong and confident i got this you know, look at all the success I'm having. Look at my happiness. All is well. I'm filled with joy. And with this discernment, I get that you are able to see certain relationships or beliefs that hold you down, hold you back, that were part of the restriction. 
and you're shedding yourself of those things. Look at that. Look at that night sky with special moments. That's that Six of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. That is coming to you, Gemini. Oh, I love it. Have no regrets of the past. I think that's part of your discernment. Okay, part of your restriction could have been that you've really been beating yourself up for some choices that you made, like whether you gave somebody a chance one too many times or you wish you would have handled something differently or why did I waste my time on XYZ you're gonna come out of that and recognize there is something to be received and gained from every single experience every single moment and nothing can truly end until it's actually meant to until we have received all that we were meant to from that relationship from that experience, from that path, whatever the case may be. And you're going to break free of these restrictions. And it's these restrictions that you feel that sense of regret about. Because if I would have handled this different or, you know, whatever the case may be, then this wouldn't be here. But spiritually, a lesson that you were working on, it was that that block, that restriction was put in place so you could receive all that you were intended to and you have. And now you're getting a special moment which is showing us the Six of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Memories, yeah, you're going to see the past very, very different, and you're going to understand that every step you take truly does add to your destination, whether it's a step that's experienced for the good or the bad. Oh, my goodness. And then you got pe Peacock Feather with Noticed. That's what the Six of Wands is about, is really being noticed, standing out. And look what's on the bottom, double rainbow with good news. So in the workplace, on your social media, you know, in your family, in your friend group, by even for some of you, a, a romantic admirer, you're about to be noticed and seen. And it's going to feel good and you're going to love it. And where you once felt a great sense of regret for just the way things happened in the past, you're going to overcome that finally. And you're going to un understand the purpose of that and what it meant for you at the time and what it means for you now. And there's a very special moment coming in and that's part of this surprise, uh, unexpected energy, things really picking up, things really taking off for you. And you have a strong spiritual team that's helping you. Ancestors, passed on loved ones, spirit guides, angels, um, star beings. All right. So what are we? Oh, look at this. We got reconciliation. Remember the source of love. A loving action is all you need to begin the process. Reach out with a simple first step. Oh my goodness. Sorry if you hear all that noise. It's the doggies. Gemini. I'm getting two things with this, okay? First and foremost, some of you have been restricted from. Okay, wow, this is layered. I'm getting multiple things with this. Somebody in the physical that you have been separated from, you guys are going to be able to bridge that gap after this portal energy. You both are receiving a lot from this portal energy. Okay. Second thing is some of you have somebody who has passed on, who has transitioned back into the non-physical and you have felt very disconnected from them because they are no longer here physically but because you're getting this activation you're now really going to sense and pick up on their energy okay you're gonna feel them in a whole new way and um lastly actually there's two more things wow okay for others of you this reconciliation is that starseed message 
that I received where you are reconnecting with your star family, the collective consciousness in which you come from, all right? And lastly, some of you, after this 12-12 portal, the way it activates you and changes you is you are going to reconnect with yourself, with your inner child, a deep healing and full balancing of you and your energy. Okay, so wow, that is very very deep and it entails many different reconciliations okay but a lot's going to change and it's all because you are changing spiritually and that's just happening all on its own because you have completed these lessons so be prepared for surprises and unexpected turn of events in your favor all right so those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.